What's up everybody, Kevin Van Voris here for another video for you today. So I guess tonight, it's uh, Wednesday night, it's 8.30 p.m. Look, at it, it's beautiful outside. I, I love summertime. It gets dark super late here, like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Love it. So I'm gonna enjoy it so we can make videos late after work, which is nice. But anyways, we need to hop in the Jeep, go fill it up. I gotta go to my bank. Also, check out my new license plate. Let me know what you think. Dream Chaser. So I had to get it. I think it looks dope. But uh, anyways, let's hop in the track hawk and talk about today's video. You just lost something, no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money, now I'm acting a fool. Hopefully, hopefully this starts because this has uh, no gas. I mean, zero. Let's see how many miles it has. We are at 12 miles. 12 miles till we can't move this car anymore. So let's back this out and go to the gas station. All right, so we got 12 miles. Luckily, oh, 10 miles now. Luckily the gas station isn't too far. So uh, anyways, been a busy week. I'm still working on the Charger slash Demon uh, first time at the track videos. And then I got to do a Livernoy review, which a lot of you guys have actually been asking me about. Um, I'm really excited. So I got three videos coming, um, almost done editing. I just have a lot of different angles from uh, that night when we were racing at the uh, drag strip. So, um, and those curious in case you're like trying to figure out what time I ran in case uh, you don't add me on Snap or Instagram, which you should, at Cowboy Kev, the DA was 7,500 that night. So, uh, <laughs> it is exactly like racing in Denver, and uh, we aren't in Denver, we're in Amarillo. So, uh, anyways, today's video, I wanted to talk about, I am going to wrap the Jeep. I'm waiting on one more very crucial part to the, we'll call it a Jeep build. Um, as far as, like, the outside appearance of the vehicle, I'm waiting on one more thing. I will give you a hint. It's coming from Black Ops Auto Works. So... That's all I'm gonna say. I'm waiting on it from them. And as far as the outside's concerned, that's gonna be done. Uh, as far as like modifications to the outside of the body. So, um, anyways, yes, you guys seen the title? I'm gonna be wrapping my Jeep within the next, I would say probably four to six weeks um, is when it's gonna be getting wrapped. Now, um, as you guys know, Misa doesn't live here. Misa is, uh, he owned Illust owns Illustro Auto Styling. Um, <clears throat> moved back to California, had a little business out here, decided to move back to California and pursue his business out there. He's the one who wrapped my Charger. He also wrapped David's Challenger. And then he, uh, you know, he worked on a lot of people's cars here. But um, basically, you know, I don't know who's gonna end up wrapping my Jeep. Um, I haven't even really talked to him since he moved, so I might need to pick up my phone and call Misa and see what's going on with him. Um, but I really don't know who's going to wrap it. I was going to have a local company design the wrap for me, and, uh, you know, they just, they didn't see my vision, so, um, I hit up Curvaceous Wraps, which is the lady who designed my current wrap on my charger, which some of you guys don't like, which most of you who don't like it haven't seen it in person because everybody who sees it in person tells me it looks completely different, which it does. Um, now I know it might not be somebody's style because it's, you know, very out there, colorful. Um, it's got, you know, paisley bandana print on it and then it's got a giant sugar skull on the hood. And, you know, for some people, it, that's not their style, which I really don't care. It's my style. It's what I like. So, she ended up, I hit her up months ago and I was like, hey, before you get too busy, because she's very, very busy um, doing like Venom cars and all this other stuff. She does really, really high-end stuff too. So I said, hey, before you get too busy, can you please like reserve me a spot <laughs> um, like for designing? Because at some point I want to do the Jeep. And I hit, I hit her up probably like a month after I bought this Jeep. And because I knew like, don't get me wrong. I love the black. I got it ceramic coated, which I need to do a video, a video review on ceramic coating if it's worth it or not. But even if it's ceramic coated, your car, taking care of a black car is a bitch. Like it is the worst thing in the world because no matter how, how clean you get it, if one little dust particle hits the car, it's like, fuck, it's dirty again. 
and uh, I miss, <laughs> I like having like a colored car because you can't obviously see it as much. So anyways, I hit her up and uh, I also hit up a, com a local company because I wasn't sure if I'd even get a spot with her. They weren't doing it, doing the job that I asked, so I, I still need to hit them up and get my money back. But um, anyways, so Curvaceous, she hit me up literally like the day that I was like telling these people like, look, you guys don't know what I want. Like these are more like generic designs. I want something custom, like very artistic. Um, and I gave them my chargers kind of like a, hey, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Not, I don't want, I don't want the same wraps. I don't want you guys to get to think that I'm going to be wrapping the Jeep the exact same. It's not. Some of you guys, I mean, it would be kind of cool to have both of them wrap the exact same thing, but <clears throat> You know, the body lines on this are different than the Charger, and I think the wrap that is on the Charger goes really well with the body lines on the car. Um, and it just kind of goes with the style of the car. It's crazy, it's, you know, I don't know how much horsepower it has, it's got a lot. You know, it's a sedan, it shouldn't be that fast. I, I really like it, it's on bags, you know. So, I knew in the back of my head when I bought this, like, all right, I'm gonna put this bitch on bags, I'm gonna fucking uh, wrap it and do all this crazy stuff to it. So. Anyways, I sent her some ideas, um, and if you guys follow me on Snap or Instagram, I dropped a few hints here and there of kind of what I'm looking for. Um, it's gonna be similar as far as like you could tell that I own the vehicle, but they're not gonna be the same at all. It's gonna be completely different. Um, the only thing that I told her is I want some yellow in the design just so it matches the brake calipers and the uh, stickers I have on the window like already so because I don't plan on changing the color of the uh, brake calipers anytime soon it would be cool to do but eh, I really don't want to mess with that and I kind of kind of like the yellow at first when I first bought the car it wasn't really I wasn't really feeling it too much but uh, after owning it and driving it I really like the yellow just because you don't see cars with yellow brake calipers so um, but yeah so I'm gonna be wrapping the Jeep now, what I want you guys to do, um, because I still, I gave her some ideas, and again, I'm still looking for ideas. I would like any of you to DM me on Instagram or Snapchat me ideas that you think that I personally would like um, that would look good on the Jeep. Now, you guys got to remember, I want something crazy. I want something out there. I want something that when I pull up to a car show, car meet, driving down the road people like oh shit i gotta get my camera like i wish i could I, I need to like film a day when i drive the charger because like obviously i don't drive it every day yet i need to put the normal tires back on and take the drag pack wheels off um but i swear to god like i was driving it to the track the other day and this person next to me i look over and they slam on the fucking brakes and they're like this close from hitting the person <laughs> in front of them because they're trying to snap a picture and then this other person stops in the middle of traffic just be like and he's like hey i'm like what and he's like hey i'm just trying to take a picture of your car i'm like holy shit dude like you almost just caused an accident but what i would like you guys to do is send me any ideas or comment below you know but uh pictures would be better so i can send them to her i've already sent her a few things but i really would like to see your guys input like you guys know my style you guys know that i own a lifestyle clothing brand um so obviously we have to have some type of logo on it um but i just want something wild something crazy um but totally different from my charger you know um i think that's that's what I really want. So I want your help deciding on kind of uh, what I'll do. Now, if you're an O O O G subscriber, okay, when I first did the original rap, I think I had 5,000 subscribers. This is a long time ago. Um, I think I had 5,000 subscribers, but I, I actually showed you guys and I asked your opinions on which ones you'd like. And uh, what I actually ended up doing was I put, <laughs> I ended up putting like three of the designs into one and it came out actually really awesome. So some of you guys didn't like any of the designs. Some of you guys said pick this one or this one or this one. So I do get your guys' input, but I had my own idea and I was like, you know what, we should just take three of those designs and put them together. Because the way that she works is you send her some ideas, and again, she kind of already knows my style, but I sent her some other stuff that I really like that I've been searching online for like the past six months or so. And she'll give me four designs, and then I'll either accept some of those, and we can start working on some of those four, or I'll tell her, eh, I don't really like any of those, and then she'll come back with another set of four, and we'll kind of work from there. So, if any of you guys are designers, artists, uh, 
you just like to fuck around and draw. Or if you have really good ideas, maybe you would love to wrap your car, but maybe you, I don't know, maybe you don't want to get called gay like I do. <laughs> I don't know. But just comment below. Send me a DM on Instagram or a Snapchat of a picture or some. I always comment. You can ask anybody in the comments or like any of my subscribers or anybody who follows me on Instagram. I always respond to messages. I'm not like anybody, like any of these other YouTubers who like think they're too good for the world and don't respond to uh, messages. Because I've personally messaged a few YouTubers and I never hear back from them. Uh, I do hear back from SRT Mush all the time. He's always like telling me how he wants me to like spoon him or any, something like that. So I don't know, real weird stuff. SRT Mush does some weird shit, guys. Like, real weird shit. <laughs> so, anyways, but uh, I'm just kidding, Todd. I love you. But uh, anyways, so I've, I showed David some of the designs, and he's like, "Dude, you're going like way far." And I'm like, "I'm going way far." So. Trust me, there's no design too crazy, and I really do want to hear from you guys. So, before I run out of gas, good thing I'm at the gas station, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to fill this up, and I'm going to run a few errands, because uh, the grind never stops. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Please, let me know your guys' thoughts on what you think I should do for the Trackhawk. I would really love to hear your opinion, especially now that I have, you know, we're at 35,000 subscribers. It's fucking crazy, because like a year ago, I had like... 5,000 so or maybe even less I don't even remember I know we went to we are Mopar and I think I maybe had like six or seven I don't even think I was at ten um, but I do appreciate everybody who watches I appreciate it if you don't like me if you do like me if you're kind of in between whatever so anyways thank you guys for watching my name is Kevin Van Voorst make sure you guys are following me at Kelly Boy Kev on snapchat and on Instagram let's wrap this cheap and I'm out this bitch <laughs>